I first came to Ohio State in 2006. I started as an assistant professor in chemical and biomedical engineering. And my research was mostly focused on um, using nanotechnology for imaging. And a lot of the work that we did was focused on imaging cells and trying to understand basic science, but we also had some interest in medical imaging. My research has been supported by a couple grants from the university, um, support from women in philanthropy and also support from Pelotonia. When I first applied for faculty positions, I had a lot of choices about where I could come. And I chose Ohio State because it has a unique trifecta. Uh, not only does it have a top-notch engineering college, which I have the pleasure to belong to, but it also has a comprehensive cancer center within walking distance of the engineering campus. It's 10 minutes. Um, that's full of physicians who are eager to collaborate with people outside their discipline. And in addition to that, it has a top-rated veterinary school where we can develop unique animal models of disease to enable uh, the medical research that we're doing. And so that combination uh, convinced me to come here. Once I came to Ohio State, I also discovered that we have uh, unique resources at the Fisher College of Business to help with commercialization. And so as our goal switched to translational work, we were able to leverage programs like the Fisher Business Plan Competition and the Technology Entrepreneurship and Commercialization Center to uh, learn about things like how to make a business plan and how to do business development, how to determine what markets enter, what type of products make, all things that as an engineer, I don't really have training in. And so we've partnered with Fisher, we've partnered with the Technology Commercialization Office here on campus um, to kind of help walk us through the process of how to take something from bench to bedside. One of the most challenging things I could think of is trying to manipulate things at the nanoscale and then apply them to medicine because the body is uh, so poorly understood. And I can say that I do many things in my job, but I'm never bored. <laughs>